see how close we can get before he takes off. Closer than I would have guessed. I get my hand down there. There he is. He's going now. Oh, he's going. There he goes. Like the male and the female. We'll see who's more touchy. That's the female. That's the male. He said, what's going on? What are you doing? Yeah, security ducks. And of course, it totally cleared out overnight. Check this out. Freaking B E A U double die. Again. It's a better looking city than Cleveland, isn't it? Just a little bit. Good morning, it's about 11, 20 of 11 here on the 7th, it's home times, just got everything packed up, had a little bit of outside time on the patio, it was beautiful. We're back to perfect weather here today, it's already 60 degrees, you can hear the water, everything's green, things are blooming, they're not going to look like that in 12 hours. So we're headed to Dallas, our flight leaves at 2, it's 20 of 11, we've got plenty of time to go fill the car up with gas, load the stuff in, get over, drop the car off, it hurts, get over to the airport. Find our gate, then I'm gonna catch up with Colt for a little bit, I'm thinking. I haven't talked to him for a couple days, so we'll be back here in just a few months. Nope. <laughs> Welcome to K San. It is perfect old. Perfect old. Perfect out there. Perfect old's not a word. Got myself a bit of a drink here. We're rebooting my phone so it actually works. It is. Six after noon, so we have about an hour before we board, hour and a half. So we're just gonna enjoy these beautiful skies and perfect weather out there. It is uncomfortably hot with what I'm wearing. And that is a bit dressy, the blazer and such, but you know, I like to prick it up and such.
Arizona. In between Tucson and Phoenix. Pretty cloudy. 31,000 feet, 489 miles per hour. And welcome to New Mexico. It's cloudier as frig. Texas. Dallas. DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth. could stop quicker than that. Come on. I want to take it down to about 20, I think, taxi speed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our pleasure to welcome you to Dallas, Fort Worth. The local time here is approximately 6.59. Well, things in Dallas were short-lived. Now headed to Cleveland. It's 9.04 p.m. Cleburne time. 48 and cloudy in Dallas. 31 and clear in Cleveland. Dick Goddard would be proud. It's a lot quieter up here in row 10 than it was back in row 24. This is a McDonnell Douglas S80, and uh, the engines are in the back. Goodbye, Texas. There is downtown Dallas. Uh, I know so little about Texas, I didn't even know it was on a river. Uh, right there. That's downtown. I've seen it during daylight before. I guess I didn't notice a river. I was here in March 2012. Fort Worth is just a few miles out, but that's what Dallas looks like, boys. state of Kentucky. I suspect that would be Cincinnati, which means we're at the Kentucky-Ohio border. We're kind of going the wrong way, so if that's wrong, I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Cleveland. I'm looking for downtown, uh, which I don't see yet. You can tell we're on the lake, though, because the light stops, so that's Lake Erie, but shall. Downtown might be around the corner or it might be covered in clouds. Except it looks clear, I can see stars. And that would be downtown Cleveland. Terminal Tower is lit up in purple. It's a little smaller than San Diego and Dallas. the NASA building, and 
almost there. Back in the state of Ohio, a little rough. But we're on the ground, so talk to you later. And now we wait. Well, 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 what do you know? It's my clock in my kitchen. Check it out, it's 3.56 in the morning, East Coast time. I'm in my house, but what's different? I just spent the last three hours on the phone with Cole, taking down all my Christmas stuff. I walked in here, it was like freaking, freaking Donzell's, Dillard's department store Christmas party hour. And that's not what I'm looking for coming home from San Diego. And I don't want to wake up to a lot of work tomorrow. So I got it done tonight. The tree's gone and put away. I'm not putting the couch back until I vacuum and I'm not going to vacuum at four in the morning. This is all done. That's done. All the lights, everything's done and put away. I've still got the outside to do, but it's supposed to warm up over the weekend. So I'll do it then. But everything inside's done with the exception of putting the couch away. And as I said, I just need to vacuum. So, um, Five keys actually went out there with me because they go everywhere with me, but I didn't carry them around. And uh, we'll look at the car tomorrow. It's still there. It doesn't look any different. Uh, the light is still flashing, so I trust that the battery still holds a charge. We'll see what happens with that tomorrow. I'm mostly unpacked. I still have a bathroom bag and my carry-on and the Mac that need to be put away in addition to a jacket, a blazer, and a belt. So we're home. The flights were good. Flights were safe, grandparents are home, grandparents are safe, so that's all we can ask for. It was a good day, and, yeah, and Colt's spouting dumbassery in my ear, so I'm sure we'll talk more to him tomorrow, and I'll talk to you tomorrow in day 758, back from the homestead. It's good to be back. Talk to you guys tomorrow.